You gotta be creative about coming up with some type of solutions that may be outside the ordinary from what you're normally used to doing. Guys, according to the US Federal Reserve's most recent survey of consumer finances, the average savings account balance in the United States for the average person was just over $62,000. However, the median balance in a savings account in the US per person was about $8,000. And now I know there's a lot of people out there that have never even had $8,000 in their possession in their savings account, mainly because of a low income. So on this video, I wanna give you nine things to quickly save up $8,000 fast if you have a low income and just don't make a lot of money. So this video is very relevant for anyone. If you're trying to save up $5,000, $8,000, $10,000, if you're trying to save up $20,000, this video is relevant. I'm gonna give you some money saving tips. It's gonna help you save up $8,000 fast, even if you have a low income. Because I know that saving $8,000 for anybody can seem like a really daunting task, like something that's hard to do, it'll never happen. But listen, it's possible with some careful planning, some strategizing, and some discipline. You can do it. You got this. Now, the first thing you gotta do if you're trying to save up $8,000 quickly is you have to make sure you're doing a monthly budget. You have to track your money, right? And that budget has to be a unique budget. Every month is different than the other month. It has to be written down on paper or an Excel spreadsheet or Google spreadsheet, whatever you decide to use. And it doesn't matter if you only bring home $200 a month or if you bring home $20,000 a month. Everybody needs to do a budget. It's gonna help you control your money, control your spending, track your income, track your expenses. It'll give you a great feel for where you are and what you have. And on your budget, you gotta start figuring out what are my wants, what are my needs? And then set the savings goal. The savings goal is gonna be $8,000. Now, when you do your budget, you wanna keep that savings goal in mind. The goal here is $8,000. Now, I'm gonna let you define how quickly you wanna actually save that money up. For some of you, you wanna save $8,000 in five months. For others, you may wanna save $8,000 over the next two years. Totally your decision. But I'm giving you how much, $8,000 on this video, you decide when you wanna get that done. If you wanna save up $8,000 in the next six months, that means you have to save about $1,333 per month. If you wanna save $8,000 in the next 12 months, that means you have to save $667 a month. And if you wanna save up $8,000 in the next 24 months, two years, it means you gotta save up $333 a month for the next two years, right? It's just a math equation. You figure out the time that you wanna save the $8,000, and that's gonna help drive your decision making from here on out to say, how do I actually save that amount of money every single month? And that's all a part of getting organized. When you do this, number one, getting your budget together. Now, number two is you gotta look at your budget and you have to figure out, how do I cut expenses? How do I spend less money, right? Cutting unnecessary costs cutting some of your bills or even negotiating some bills, maybe even using public transportation, driving less. I don't know what it could be, but you have to analyze that expense side of the budget and figure out where you can cut, what you can cut, right? You gotta do what you gotta do. Now, the third thing is you have to figure a way to increase your income. In this whole process, guys, one of the most important things you can do is bring in more money. Not so you can spend it frivolously on wants, but more money so you can add it towards the savings goal, right? So that means maybe some side hustles, some freelance work, maybe even a part-time job, maybe overtime at your current job. You gotta figure a way to bring in extra money to go towards this goal of $8,000. And maybe it's a matter of just increasing your skills. Some type of certification, some type of training, classes, some education, something that's gonna help you make more money so you can expedite this thing. And instead of this thing taking 18 months, maybe it could take 15 months, maybe 12 months. Guys, if you get any value out of this video, do me a favor, share this video with your family, your friends, or your network of good people. And if you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing to my channel. Now, let's get back to the video. Now, number four is this. Once you have the goal, which includes the amount and the time by which you wanna get there, and you've examined your budget, your budget that you're writing now, and you've looked closely at your expenses, have cut a few things, and have found a way to maybe increase your income, then I want you to automate your savings so you don't see it. So if you get paid $1,000 a week, automatically have your bank account 
or wherever you're saving the money, a high yield savings account, wherever it may be, have a certain set amount of money going to that every single time you get paid or once a month or once a week, right? At whatever regular interval you choose, you have to have that money automatically go in there so you don't see it. Because part of this thing is discipline and sometimes when we have money in our pocket, we wanna spend money. So I'm saying, make this thing happen automatically so there's no question about you reaching your savings goal based on the fact that the money is automatically coming out and you don't even have to see it. That direct deposit is happening in the background to make this thing happen on autopilot. Now, number five is this. You've got to take a vow of frugality. You have to vow to yourself that you're going to spend less money. And this is all about discipline, consistency, being persistent, being focused on what you're trying to do and what this goal is of $8,000 by whatever time you decide it, but you're gonna have to figure a way to live on a little less. Slow down on all the extra spending that you do now. You've gotta, if you wanna see change in your money, you gotta make some change, right? So maybe embrace minimalism, frugal living, maybe some do-it-yourself things that you could do. Maybe you're looking to do some things around the house instead of paying somebody. Maybe you could embrace the idea of doing it yourself to save some money on some labor. Use coupons, get your discounts, whatever it may be. You gotta be creative about coming up with some type of solutions that may be outside the ordinary from what you're normally used to doing. Now, number six is you have gotta also vow, not only frugality in number five, but you have to vow here in number six that you're not going to go into any more debt. You're going to avoid debt. You're going to say, you know what? No more debt for me. I don't have money to go into debt because the money that I would possibly be using to pay off debt or to go into debt, I'm using it to build up my emergency fund. So I suggest you get out of the habit of using your credit card and just start paying with cash and saying, I'm not going to go into debt. This is another declaration that you need to make to yourself because going back into debt causes you to have payments. Payments cause you to have no money to put towards your savings goal. Now, number seven is if you have any windfalls, right, coming your way, use them to put towards this $8,000 savings, right? If you have uh, a tax return, use that money to put towards the savings. If you have any unexpected earnings, any bonuses coming from your job, use that money to put towards this savings of $8,000 that you're trying to get to quickly, that you're trying to get to fast, right? Remember, you're on a low income. So on a low income, you have to be very, very intentional about everything you do with your money. Everything you do with your money, all your spending is critical. It's vital. You, don't, you may not have an extra $5. You may not have an extra $30 to go here or $50. You have to be sure that everything that comes to you savings-wise is gonna go towards this laser-focused goal of saving $8,000 fast. Now, number eight is you gotta find cheap, free, frugal-like entertainment. You have to have inexpensive self-care, right? You may have to get your books from the library instead of Amazon. You may have to go to free community concerts and free community events that are going on while you're saving this $8,000 to meet your goal. And you may just have to find some things that you can enjoy for very little money. Dancing to your favorite song, eating your favorite food and making your favorite food, right? Walks in nature, right? Small things, you gotta find these really small things to bring you some joy and bring you some peace while you're trying to save up this $8,000 fast. Now, number nine is you have to review your goal on a regular basis and make any adjustments as needed. That means you gotta continue to do a monthly budget every single month. You have to continue to look closely at your income and try to increase it. You have to look closely, continually, at your expenses and how you can save and how you can bring those expenses down. You have to be, you have to be so intense with this thing you have to be so focused and intentional with what you're doing. That's the only way you're gonna be able to reach this goal. Because the thing that you focus on is the thing that's gonna grow, the thing that's gonna get bigger, the thing that's gonna happen is what you're focused on. But you have to be laser focused, because if you're not, trust me, you're going to get sidetracked easily. You're gonna look up one day and say, man, I've been, I've been saving all my money. I've been watching my expenses. I've been working hard. I've been making extra money. I deserve to go on that vacation. I deserve to spend $1,000 on that concert, whatever it may be. You're gonna find yourself saying that 
But what you got to do while you're in the course of saving $8,000 fast, you have to push through and keep going until you get to that goal. And in the meantime, while you're reviewing your goal and staying focused and staying disciplined here in number nine, you're also celebrating some wins, celebrating some milestones, right? Giving yourself permission to have a little fun and do some things when you reach this particular goal of saving $8,000 fast. Look, there's many factors that contribute to why people can't save money. Some of it is psychological, right? People just think in their head that they don't deserve it or they can never do it. They don't have a certain amount of belief and trust and faith and just have a negative thought when it comes to money and saving money and being able to save money on a low income. And sometimes it's just lack of financial literacy. People just don't know what to do, when to do, how to do, how much, etc. Again, some people just have poor financial habits. And then a lot of people just simply want immediate gratification. They cannot delay gratification. They want it right now. They see that shirt, that dress, those shoes, they got to have it. These things happen to a lot of people. Even people that are on a low income have these sort of psychological things, these barriers that are holding them back from being able to save some money, right? Because it's tough having a low income. There's sometimes debt when you have low income and you can't get out of the debt because you don't have a big enough shovel to actually get out of debt, right? The cost of living keeps going up. Inflation keeps rising and rising. The price of everything is going higher and higher. The price of housing, renting a home, all those things are barriers that can get in the way and really get in the way when you have a low income. Not to mention social pressures and peer pressure and keeping up with the Joneses. There's a lot of barriers, but guess what guys? A detailed written budget where you're tracking your income, tracking your expenses, lowering your expenses the best you can, even though you're on a low income, Raising up your income somehow, getting higher paying skills, getting more skills, new skills, uh, second job, part-time job, overtime at your job, using your windfalls, meaning your tax returns and all that stuff, using those to your advantage to help you save money fast and being more frugal, avoiding debt, taking good care of yourself, self-care in an inexpensive way, and regularly reviewing this goal. Having this goal plastered on your wall, on your refrigerator, on your screensaver. Having it there to remind you of your goal, and then automating all of the savings going directly to your savings account, your high yield savings account, automatically, on autopilot, that's the plan. If you could do those things on a low income, you can save $8,000. Fast. I hope this video helped you, gave you some motivation, gave you inspiration, gave you some encouragement to know that you can do it. The best person to take care of the old you is the young you. Take care of yourself and take care of other people. Until the next video, peace.